The Spider-Man Homecoming trailer has finally dropped, and as Peter Parker swings his way into the MCU, he's dropping Easter eggs everywhere. Luckily, your friendly neighborhood movie pilot is on hand to pick them all up. Here are our favorite hints and references. The web heads out of New York City and climbing the Lincoln Monument in Washington, D.C. Comics fans should recognize this moment from the Civil War tie-in comic, Mr. Parker Goes to Washington, when Spidey battles Titanium Man after speaking against the Superhuman Registration Act. Just like the Iron Spider suit from the comic, Peter's sporting some serious upgrades in the form of wings, presumably from Tony Stark. Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen! That police helicopter doesn't look friendly, hearkening back to early comics when Spidey was seen as a threat, thanks to J. Jonah Jameson's smear campaigns. Is this police hostility a result of the Sokovia Accords? The technology these faux Avengers are using is far from your standard bank heist. This gun sure looks like Chitauri tech left behind after the Battle of New York in the Avengers. Chitauri leftovers have popped up in the MCU before, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and more recently in Luke Cage. Or maybe this gun is one of the Tinkerer's inventions. This Spider-Man villain has not been confirmed to appear in Homecoming, but this could be a nod towards his involvement. What's up, guys? Oh, and this isn't the first time Spidey has faced the faux Avengers. Unlike the loner he was in the early comics, Peter's got some pals in Homecoming, like Ned Leeds. In the comics, Ned Leeds was an adult reporter at the Daily Bugle who became the supervillain Hobgoblin. Will this version of Ned turn to the dark side? It looks like Peter might be a Big Bang Theory fan. This tea is sporting one of Sheldon Cooper's catchphrases. The physics is theoretical, but the fun is real. He's also got a lot in common with Pepper Potts. We see Peter wearing the same shirt that appeared in Iron Man 3. Peter's busy babe watching his girlfriends from the comics. Liz Allen was Spidey's first love interest all the way back in the 1962 comic Amazing Fantasy No. 15. And is that Angori Rice as Betty Brant in the background? More importantly though, we finally see Zendaya's character. You guys are losers. And the pop star looks almost unrecognizable as Michelle, unless she's secretly playing a new version of Mary Jane. Moments after Tony gives Peter some friendly hero-to-hero -hero advice, Howard Stark pops up on a mural in the school corridor. You know, just in case you'd forgotten how important the Starks are to MCU history. But they're not the only ones who made an impact, as we can see Bruce Banner chilling with other scientific geniuses. Spidey's just as obsessed with Civil War as we are, re-watching how he put his Star Wars nerdery to good use when he took out Giant Man, just like Luke Skywalker defeating the AT-ATs in Empire Strikes Back. But who was filming this shot? Did Black Widow take some time out to video the whole battle? While Peter's reliving his finest moments, check out Tony Revolori's Flash Thompson giving him some serious side-eye. It looks like the school bully has his sights set on poor Spidey. Like Gretchen Wiener's hair, Peter Parker's bedroom is full of secrets. Spot the Mike Piazza flag? The catcher is a legendary Mets player, the baseball team that Peter has loved since childhood. Spidey's inspiration for the Civil War battle is lurking down in the right corner. Yup, that's an at, -AT from that really old movie. Ned drops a Lego Death Star, while an R2 action figure and an X-Wing pilot can be spotted on the shelf behind Peter. He's a nerd just like us. The Vulture swoops in, giving us our first look at the new costume, and it's sure to be divisive. Is Michael Keaton's villain suitably imposing, or are we facing another green goblin-type figure hiding behind a mechanical suit? Here we see Peter and Tony at the Avengers Tower. Why? It could be that Peter broke into the tower in an effort to join the superhero team, just like he did with the Fantastic Four headquarters in Amazing Spider-Man number one. We catch a glimpse of Donald Glover's villain seemingly as part of Adrian Toome's gang, and there's another high-tech weapon nodding toward the Tinkerer's involvement. Finally, there's a cool little reference to another Spider-Man movie, as Tom Holland's Spidey saves the Staten Island Ferry in a very similar way to how Tobey Maguire saved the train in Spider-Man 2. And that's all, folks. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments.